Hey guys, it's Super Review Games or Adam, and welcome back to another one of my Fortnite videos. And today we'll look at every single thing that has been removed from Fortnite so far. So when you compare the version of Fortnite we have right now to the very original version, obviously there has been an insane amount of content added in along the way. Just weapons alone, there has been so much. Now, since they added in so much, of course, they've had to remove a bunch of stuff along the way. That includes traps, of course, tons of weapons, and some emotes as well. And in today's video, I'm going over all of the things that have been removed so far. So the question for today's video, let me guys know right now in the comment section below, what do you guys think is going to be the next thing they actually remove from this game? Will it be a new weapon, an old weapon, will it be an emote? a grenade let me guys know right now in the comment section below and of course if you haven't already drop a like that'd be absolutely amazing subscribe if you're new and besides that let's go ahead and jump into today's video so starting things off here in the 10 spot we have the jump pad now the jump pad has been removed from the game for a long time now and of course it has been replaced by the launch pad but the big difference between the two is with the launch pad you of course deploy your glider with the jump pad you would not you would just kind of bounce up and down on this jump pad and it was mainly used for not taking fall damage when falling from a very high area so like a sky base or a mountain you would place it down jump on this thing and then of course jump off of that uh, height and go down and not take any fall damage so the jump pad was great I can kind of see why it was removed because besides that one little thing it wasn't really all that useful you just bounce you know not that high so I understand why it's gone why they replaced it but still the jump pad was really awesome for those moments but unfortunately it is no longer with us so coming in at the number nine spot on today's list we have the wall dynamo trap now this trap right here was kind of a weird trap when Fortnite first came out or battle royale first came out there were a lot of kind of very specific traps and of course the wall dynamo trap was specific for walls you would place it on a wall and of course it would you know kill the person who ran by that wall now of course now we only have the one trap which is a damage trap and you can put that trap on walls the ceiling the ground you know before you know there were certain traps for ceiling certain traps for walls and of course certain traps for the ground and the wall dynamo was one of those traps that was specifically for the wall and it has been removed from the game for a long time now. So coming in at the 8th spot, we have our first grenade, or I should say our only grenade on this list, and that was the smoke grenade. Now, this is one of the first things that was kind of added into the game. Not one of the first things, but it was kind of that first wave of, of items that were added in, and the smoke grenades was never really all that good. Of course, when it first came out, you know, smoke was covering the entire map. People were spamming these things things but shortly after that people just kind of realized that the smoke grenade is not worth one of your inventory slots and it just never ever ever got used no one ever really used it the way it was supposed to be used if you got it you would spam it randomly but it's not like you would want that smoke grenade at the end game with you because it was just completely useless you could fill that slot with something much much better so coming in at the number seven spots on today's list we have our last trap this is the ceiling trap so like i said when we were talking about the wall dynamo there were very specific traps in the game originally and a huge reason why i think they had these traps was they just took a bunch of things from save the world because the ceiling trap or i should say traps in general and save the world are very specific and they're actually really useful so they just took you know a ceiling trap they took the wall trap and they took the of course the the spike trap which was the the trap for the floor and they just threw it into br 
and they realized that it really wasn't necessary. So, of course, the ceiling trap was specifically for the ceiling. And again, now we have that one damage trap that goes absolutely everywhere. So, now we have one trap before we used to have three. And the ceiling trap is one of those traps that was removed from the game. So, coming in at the number six spot on today's list, we have one of the default dance songs. So, when Fortnite first came out, of course, you had that one emote. And during that one emote, three different songs would play, right? You would just cycle through all three songs all the time and of course now when you go into game you only cycle through two songs so that third song was actually removed which I'll probably be playing in the background so we only now have those two songs that same emote is there the two songs from the very start are there but that third one is no longer in the game so coming in at the number five spot we have our first weapon and this is the standard SMG so there there used to be three SMGs in the game. We have the standard SMG, we have the TAC SMG, and of course we have the suppressed SMG. And the TAC SMG and the standard SMG were actually in the game together for a really long time, which was weird because both SMGs were pretty much, you know, equal in, in stats and in damage and all that stuff. So it was really weird they had like two of the same weapons in, in the game. And then of course they cut the standard SMG and they buffed the uh, tank SMG. So now we just have the tackle SMG and the silenced SMG in the game, which again is a really good thing because that standard one was pretty much identical to the tack. So coming in at the number four spot, we have the beautiful purple tactical shotgun. This is one gun that I really do miss. So it's kind of weird because before we had a white and green pump shotgun, then we had a green, blue, and purple tactical shotgun then they added in the heavy shotgun of course and you only have a green and blue pump now and then you have a white green and blue tack which is unfortunate because that purple tack was a really awesome gun of course it didn't do crazy damage but it was still better than the blue tack which is the best tack we have now and honestly the purple tack was a lot better than the the purple heavy shotgun so I kind of wish it comes back one day it probably won't but you know rip that beautiful purple tack shotgun so coming in at the number three spot on today's list we have the crossbow and the crossbow was one of those weapons that originally was supposed to be kind of one of those holiday themed weapons it was like Cupid's bow something like that uh, and then it kind of just turned into the crossbow but the thing about the crossbow is it was completely useless like I know some people used it and some people got killed with it it was fun but for the most part the crossbow was really really bad and it kind of fell into that sniper category so why in the world would you take a crossbow over something like a bolt action or heck even a semi-auto shotgun or the hunting rifle so the crossbow being cut from the game is definitely a good thing i think everyone saw it coming because it was something that was kind of annoying too because you got it from chests so much and that's just annoying when you go to a chest you want a good gun and you're constantly getting these crossbows that are just completely useless so this is something that was removed not too long ago, but thankfully they did remove it. So coming in at the number two spot on today's list, we have the Zapatron Sniper Rifle. And this was a interesting one because this gun is currently in Save the World. It is a sniper in Save the World. And a long time ago, this was added into the BR mode for like literally like one day. And then right after that, they cut it from the game. Who knows why? I don't know if it was too overpowered or they just didn't like the way it played or the way it was used in Battle Royale, but it was in the game for such a short period of time. The Zapatron is a gun that you actually have to like charge up. It took a while to charge and you fired it. It would pretty much just insta-kill the person you would hit. 
But with that being said, it was kind of a tough gun to use. Maybe that's why it was removed from the game, but yes, the Zapatron, an interesting one. Even though it was only in the game for like one day, it got removed really quickly. So coming in at the number one spot on today's list, I'm assuming you guys know what this is. This is the guided missile, and this was removed from the game simply because it was way too overpowered. This thing was too deadly and I remember using it when it first came out and it was in the game for what a week or so maybe two weeks at most and then it was just cut because it was too much it was way too much to handle especially in like duos and squads where you have one guy sitting back spamming rockets and you have one person rushing because it's so difficult to defend against another player and then of course these rockets being spammed at you even in solo when someone was spamming these things at you it was so difficult to you know build and protect yourself all the time and eventually one of those rockets would get you and I'm glad it was cut even though you know it was fun to use it was really powerful if you got it it would equal a lot of kills but if you didn't have it you were most likely going to die in like those top 10 top 5 situations from people who were spamming these things constantly so there we have it guys those are 10 items that have been removed from Fortnite so far and I'm sure we'll be removing a ton more stuff as time goes on and of course guys let me know right now in the comments below what do you guys think is going to be the next thing that gets removed from this game. Do you guys think it could be something like a slurp juice? Could it be a weapon or a new weapon that really isn't used all that much? And what weapon do you guys think that will be? Let me guys know. And besides that, of course, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.